What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a J cut and an L cut in Premiere Pro. Now if you want to know how to do this in Vegas Pro 15, I actually done a tutorial on this last week and a link to it will be in the description. So a J cut and an L cut, just like I mentioned in last week's video, it's used everywhere. Movies, YouTubers and TV shows. Some of the YouTubers that use it, Casey Neistat. Some of the TV shows, The Walking Dead. So I have the same two clips you saw at the start of the video. And the first one I'm going to be showing you is a J cut. So what a J cut is, it's where the video on the right hand side, that audio from this video will come into this video. Now it will make a lot more sense when I show you the visual example because me saying it, it may not make a lot of sense. Now what I do recommend you do just to make things a lot easier in Premiere Pro, drag your video on the right onto video track 2 and drag your video audio on the right to video tr uh, to audio track 2. Now you choose how long you want this to uh, last. So here it, we're at 6 seconds and this is just where the video on the left finishes. So I want to come back to 4 seconds, close enough to 5 seconds. And all I'm going to do is drag this video back. And you can see it's snapped onto that line. And if yours doesn't snap, just make sure you have this magnet highlighted up here. We're almost done, there's just one problem. I'm going to play it through for you. So, that's not a J cut just yet. And the reason for that is because we're coming from this video to this video. All you want to happen is the audio to change and the video to stay on this park. So with that being said, what we're going to be doing is pressing C on our keyboard to bring up the slice tool. And we're going to slice right here where the end of this park video is. We're then going to right click on the uh, track here we just split, select unlink, and we can delete this um, video here because we don't need it. Now we've created a J cut. So I'm going to play it through for you. And this is exactly what a J cut is. Now, one last thing we actually need to do to complete the J cut, we also need to get rid of the audio from this clip. Now, it is optional, you can keep it. For example, this is just a uh, ambience of park noises. So I can keep it and keep it the um, concert music in at the same time. But in some cases, the audio may be too loud to keep. So we're doing the exact same thing. Press C on your keyboard, split it right here. Press V on your keyboard to bring your move tool back. Right click the park video, unlink, and then that audio here, we're going to delete. So if I play it. Just like that, that is a J cut. So we're going to move on to an L cut now. And if you haven't worked it out, it's basically the opposite to what I've just shown you. So an L cut, this time the audio on the left, which is going to be the concert, is going to merge with the audio on the right, which is the park. So once again, I do recommend having it on separate audio tracks and video tracks. Then you choose how long you want it to come across. So here is 33 seconds, just where it's going to change. I'm going to go across to 35. I'm then going to drag this video across. And this is now what we currently have. Like that. Uh, so from here, what we're going to be doing is pressing C on our keyboard to bring up the slice tool. And at the start of the park video, we're going to slice our concert. Then we're going to press V on our keyboard, right click the concert, select unlink, and we're going to delete this video. We're then going to press C on our keyboard to bring up the slice tool. And then where the audio ends on the concert video, we're going to slice it here. We're going to press V on our keyboard. We're going to right click the park this time, unlink, and then the audio for the park, we're going to delete. And now we've created an L cut. So I'll play this through for you. And that is an L cut completed. Now, of course, to make it look a bit or make it sound a bit more smoother, you can also uh, create a transition for the audio so it fades in. So simply to do that, bring it back to audio track one with the other audio, come to the effects, come to audio effects. And from here, you are going to look for the fade. 
It's actually on audio transitions. There we go, crossfade. And we're going to use the constant gain. So I'm gonna drag and drop this, and you can see it's coming here. So if I play it through now, you can see it has that fade in. Just like that. Super simple to do, it's also super effective. You should definitely experiment using the L cut and the J cut. You can see it's really simple. How do you know the difference? Well, it's called a J cut because if you look at the uh, timeline here, it comes down and it cuts that are left creating a J. If we come to the L cut, it comes down and cuts to the right creating an L. That's why it's a J cut and an L cut. And I do recommend you use it, but I don't recommend you use it too much in one video because then it's gonna get really annoying and it won't look as professional.